hello everyone in the previous video we learned that how we can display the headers on the calendar so now the time is to uh, connect our application with the database and get the events from the database so our app is connected with the database so let me show the database to you so this is laravel advanced feature and in the mysql i have this database and it's uh, already connected so let's uh, uh, create a new database table so i'm going to create a booking table with the booking model so php altison make model with uh, booking oops not like this it's a booking with migration so hit enter and uh, yes it's uh, creating the migration now let me go to the database and migrations and in the migrations we have uh, this uh, booking right so here uh, i want to create uh, some hidden columns here so the our first column would be the go here string first of all, column is id then not string it's a date time date time there is a function so it's a start date okay and uh, then here we need to also create a string column which is a uh, title right you can name this like uh, name or stuff like that title and uh, here i want to another field is uh, date time same and it would be a uh, end date right so these are our column title our date and date and uh, id right so now the time is to migrate this database so it's still creating what is the issue so let's wait for a moment to complete this process and uh, uh, let me show it to you that how we can uh, get this uh, get these attribute from the database so let's wait for this uh, to complete this process okay now it's completed so now the time is to migrate our database so it's uh, command is php artisan migrate hit enter and this will migrate our table in the database so let's get refresh and uh, our booking tables will be there okay 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 and yes booking is there so now the time is to insert some events in the database so uh, let me sh enter short event okay or uh, you can name it any which you want so the today date is filled up right so go and one record is added in the database so now grab this uh, uh, this uh, event in this calendar so how we can do this so let's go to the controller close this out in our calendar controller where we are returning this view so here we need to first to grab the all bookings it's a book Kings and the model is uh, booking and here I want to grab all these booking so let me return that bookings are returning or not so let's go here give it a refresh and it will return a booking right it's returning booking so now the time is to return the booking as uh, we required in our uh, calendar js so our calendar js port to uh, title start and right so we need to customize uh, our array right so let me create a new array here so this array will be uh, events events equal an empty array i'm creating an empty array right here and i will uh, pull all the keys from this so let me go there array not this array it's uh, events okay and here i need to assign keys and values so the if you want to display the title on the on this calendar js so you need to define this key name title right and here you need to uh, grab your key so i am uh, grabbing this in a custom array why because you can understand that how we can customize if we have different uh, keys so how we can parse these keys to calendar js so here you need to uh, get the so let me get this in the for each loop right so let me put the for each and here i'm grabbing this uh, bookings as booking okay it's a single 
and in this object we are going to let me this at the top here and uh, let me grab these events in the calendar so we have only one object right not multiple so oops so here you need to call this uh, booking so this will return a single booking and i want to grab the single booking title right which is our database column name so and uh, other attribute are like let me copy this uh, and paste it here oops paste it like this so another attribute is start date right the third attribute is end date so we are customizing these keys why we are customizing these keys because we are setting this as calendar js so calendar js accept start date as start and end date as end so it will uh, we are passing this end date to this for this calendar js right so this is now our events array so let me return this uh, array here so uh, give it a refresh and yes now it's returning this array so let's go there and return this to our view so there is two methods uh, there are variety of method you can comp use compact method or you can also use the array or something like that okay here it's events and uh, now it's returning the events to this calendar index this is uh, the index we are using here so now the time is to grab these uh, events uh, in our JS, right? So how we can do this? So we can do this like uh, this. Uh, var events, I'm creating a new variable and uh, I want to, there is a blade directive of JSON. So you can get the PHP variable in this, uh, get the Laravel variable or PHP, right? So here we have a uh, events. So which events which we are returning from the controller we are passing this from this controller array right this one right so this one is an events and uh, this events is now there so let me console this uh, is it we are turning events or not so let's just play this events go here give it a refresh let me remove this uh, uh, no i remove this okay so it will return this event in the console undefined variable event so let me go there and why it's saying that undefined so it's oh i misspell it i it's a events not event okay give it a refresh and yes so it's loading the full calendar and let me go there and close this out and console and in the console we are returning an array the title is this start is this and entry is this so now the time is to pass this uh, array to this uh, calendar. So how we can do this? So there is a property of uh, here. So the property is events. So this events is a property of calendar JS, not PHP or Laravel, right? This is uh, exist in the calendar JS. So we are passing this uh, calendar JS to events or uh, to events. Uh, which events? this events right so i will name this booking so you can understand it better right booking so booking right so now the time is to reload this again and give it a refresh and yes our event is there so the time is 2 10 30 uh, 33 and the event name is this right so our event is successfully displayed on this uh, uh, calendar right so now the time is to add another event and display it on the calendar so let me go there another oops another event and here let me change the database to a new date like 9 and this would be uh, 9 okay give it a refresh and uh, this event will be there on 9 date and yes the event is there so it means that we successfully grabbed our event from the database and uh, uh, we are showing this on the calendar js school we uh, successfully done this so in the next video we will work on the create stuff and delete and edit stuff so i will meet you in the next video bye bye